Hello and welcome. Just about to get started. And starting on the mound for the Rays, Zach Eflin. Well, last year, kind of around the league average in terms of ERA. And you know what? That's why you have five different spots in the starting rotation. You've got to have people round things out. And not everyone's going to pitch like a number one or number two every outing or every season. But last year, he gave his team an opportunity and a chance to win every time he took the mound on average. And when you look at that kind of performance, it has a place on every ball club. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. And now they've got some speed on first. So we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Kicks and deals. Hit on the ground might be two. Rosario. Toss to second. Over to first. Safe. Adrian Beltre stepping in for the Rangers. A five-hit ball game yesterday, so we'll see how he backs it up here. This one high in the air to left center. Caballero settles under this one. Puts it away for the out. That's out number two. And now we take a look at the Rangers lineup. A very athletic offensive group with speed spread throughout this offense. Yeah, and it's so important that they have patient and quality at bats because the key is to get on base if they do. Oh, this one high and deep. Way back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. Rangers leave one. Now it's the Rays' turn. No score. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Tropicana Field and on the mound today a guy who will give them innings Jack Leiter how about a scouting report on him it's a tough veteran lineup on the other side but I'm excited to see what this rookie can do in this one Josh Lowe strike one dives and he can't hang on gets it there in time though and a tough play with a fast runner but they get the out now a look at Kevin Cash's lineup for the Tampa Bay Rays. They're dealing with a top-level arm on the mound, so this figures to be a tough matchup for them. What's the key to the offense today, Singy? Well, Boog, I think when you got a guy that's this talented on the mound, you've got to find ways to disrupt his rhythm, make him uncomfortable a little bit. That's the guys that can handle the bat and perhaps, you know, bunt, bunt for a base hit, get him moving off the mound. If you're in the box and he seems to be just in a flow, step out, mess up his timing, somehow try to get in his head a little bit, and then when he does come in the zone, you may only get one pitch. You better not miss it. Struck him out looking. No, that's not the best two-strike fastball I've seen, but certainly got away with the location there. You know, sometimes as a hitter, when you're down in the count, you're so focused on a pitcher painting the black. And, and there's the third out. That'll do it for the inning. Scoreless after one. Back now in Tampa Bay. Now it's the power-speed combo. Greg Vaughn. And a pitch. That one ripped. That's back there. And gone! That'll fire up the dugout. His sixth of the series, it's 1-0. He only needed one swing to square it up. Not wasting any time in that at bat, Boog. Aggressive, and it paid off. No, Boog, clearly some frustration out there on the mound right now. I mean, that ball was so close to going foul. Would have been a long strike, but instead, Batter gets rewarded. Did a nice job of getting to the pitch and hitting it hard enough to get over the fence. Pudge Rodriguez. Oh, now the box count. comes up empty with a swing there. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up and you start to expect a big inning. to third tosses to first one away that ground ball may have him back on track after the homer 
Up next for the Rangers, Vladimir Guerrero. Three hits last night, so he was a big factor in getting that win. Got him to chase one upstairs there. Well, pretty clear to me, he's trying to go deep right there, but you got to get a pitch that you can handle. That misses the zone, and that is ball one. One down, base is empty. Line drive, and it's caught for the out. Nice swing and good, solid contact. That ball was smoke, but needed a little more lift to get into the outfield gap. Maybe a little more backspin. And he can't come up with it. Safe at first, no play. We'll see how they score this. Now it's Corey Seager. Right back to him on the mound. Over to first, and Seeger is set down. That's out number three. Rangers pick up a run here on the solo home run. It's now one nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. Bottom of the inning and stepping in for the Rays, Isaac Paredes. Right through there for a strike. Swing and a miss. And that is strike two. Another 0-2 count right here. Pitcher just in the driver's seat. He can go anywhere he wants to go right here. Next pitch is outside. It's a good take. Slice to right, and it goes just foul. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a miss. Curveball in the dirt. Beats him for the first out, and that completes the strikeout. Well, he's got great strikeout stuff on the mound, doesn't he? I mean, double-digit strikeouts in his last start, and he's just racking them up again in this one. This guy can really dominate a game out there. Not a fun assignment for any lineup. Swings through that one for strike two. The count. Bounce to the left side. On to first. Score at 5 3 for the second out with the third baseman shifted over there. Jose Siri in the box now. No balls and a strike. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. 0 2. 99 miles per hour to finish him off. Down in order. And we're back. All set for the start of the inning. Stepping in the long ball threat, Michael Young. Swing and a base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Well, Singy, he is locked in there. Well, he's really slowed the game down, and it's like he's moving in full speed, and everybody is. Oh, now this one's high and deep. Way back there. On its way. Gone. He circles the bases. His second home run of the series, and they add a couple more. It's 3-0. One pitch, one swing, one home run. Yeah, you can say that's efficiency right there. Didn't need much time in the box to make an impact. Now this one's crushed down the line. Hooking foul ball. Well, it's a really good pass of the ball right there. Just a little bit too quick. It's got to find a way just to travel a hair more. Ouch, that one drilled him. Fires to first on the run. And one away in the top of the third. And now the hustle out to check on him. That was quite a shot he took as you see him down on the knee. Yeah, clearly in some real pain, but he will not want to come out of this game if he doesn't have to. It's looking to me like he's going to try to shake it off and continue. Swing and a foul straight back. That one drilled left field. And that's a base hit. So a man aboard now with one away.
Greg Vaughn stepping in for the Rangers. He's already homered here in this one. And a swing and a miss. Oh, one's the count. And strike two. This is one of those situations defensively where you can't try to do too much. You got to make sure that you field the ball cleanly and get one out first. It's going to be tough to get two with this kind of speed in the batter's box. And there's two away. Man, that's one of those at bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right right there. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at bat. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Vladimir Guerrero stepping in for the Rangers. He's 0 for 1. Pitch misses there. And it's 1 and 0. Two outs. Couple of base runners at first and second. Vlad swings, drives one deep left field. Pulls it in on the warning track. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two run homer. It's now ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now up for Tampa Bay, Ahmed Rosario. And that's in for a strike. Oh, well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. One out. Francisco Mejia coming up to hit. Oh, there's a small hey. sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that oh, speed the off the base pass, it's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think hey. about it from your infielders, have to think Come about on, that runner right. potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. Righty to the plate. Got him looking for the strikeout. Called strike three and a fastball up in the zone. Two outs, space is empty. And now here's a speed threat. Outfielder, Jose Caballero. In the air of the infield. He's got it. And that is that. Rays go in order. One, two, three. Still down, three nothing. Back here at Tropicana Field, start of the fourth. Here's the second baseman, Ian Kinsler. And a foul ball. Kinsler, multi-time All-Star, a member of the 2000 Hit Club. He joined the team as a free agent. Good eye right there. Lined, and that's a base hit. And the leadoff man aboard. So now it's Corey Seager. He's 0 for 1. On a line, base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Two consecutive base hits for this team. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it go, get go. deep. Double steal. That's ball outside. Throw to third. That's Safe. Right. Double steal. Wow, that's a pretty elite throwing arm right there from the catcher spot. Pretty daring for him to try to steal third right there, but he gets the bag. Maybe the element of surprise was what came in. Slides, but he can't come up with it. One runs in. Runner stops at third, and they're at the corners with nobody out. Rafael Palmero stepping in for the Rangers. He's already homered in this game. On the ground. That's a base hit as a run scores. Lead runner around second. Now the throw comes in. Runner holds it third. 
Well, there you go. The RBI machine. Another clutch run scoring it back. Yeah, he's been so good. New pitcher now, Taj Bradley. And with the big deficit on the scoreboard, he almost has to just put that out of his mind. Every outing matters for relievers. And oh, now this is blasted. Way back there, on its way. Gone. A gigantic blast. That's his fifth homer of the series. And they boost their lead. It's 8-0. And just like that, his home run streak is up to six. Well, he's an absolute machine working really well at the plate right now. He just can't miss every time he swings. And here is Sosa to the plate. One for two. Swung on and fouled off. And he'll need to do bad. Nobody on, nobody out. Top half of inning number four. Right-hander kicks deals. Foul ball still 0-2. And a pitch. On the ground to the left. Paredes He's fires down. over to first. That's the first out in the top of the fourth. The left hander, number 23. Greg Vaughn stepping in for the Rangers. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Lifted to left center, way back there, and that is gone. Another homer. His second home run of the game. It's 9 0. How in the world did he manage to hit that one out? It wasn't even in the strike zone. When a guy's got a real hard fastball, you can't overswing. All you've got to do is get the bat head to the spot. If you do, he supplies the power, and you'll get to jog around the bases like he did right there. Here's the power hitting catcher, Pudge Rodriguez. Swing and blast one down the line. It's gone if it's fair, but it hooks back. Well, that's where you want to be right there. All over that first pitch fastball. Just a little too much hook on it. Straighten that thing out. You get to jog around the bases. And a swing and a miss. Action in the pen down there. Garrett Clevenger warming up for manager Kevin Cash. That one 95 to finish him off. Gosh, here it is. Hit it. Three pitch strikeout. All fastballs. Man, he's got a lot of confidence in that pitch right now. Out to short, Rosario sends it to first, and Vladdy is set down. That'll end the bottom four. Here's the Rays' leadoff hitter, Josh Lowe. Out in front with the swing, and that is strike one. Well, every pitcher wants run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some pitchers. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse, go after hitters and get quick outs. Got him. And one gone. No, just couldn't pull the trigger on the fastball right there, and I don't think he was taking it, thinking it might be a called ball or anything. I just think he was flat out frozen. Did not expect that location, in my opinion. Vaughn makes the grab. Two up, two down. Yandy Diaz the now. First baseman number two, Yandy Diaz. And there's a strike. Good heater at 98. The Rays hitless so far in the game. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Seeger fires over to first. That's the third out. Nothing doing for Tampa. Back now in Tampa Bay. Top five, John Shabby with Chris Singleton. And leading it off, Ian Kinsler. Bradley back to work. And that one is lifted in the air. And he makes the catch. One down. Almost a loud start to the inning on that first pitch. Man, he's going to want that one back, no doubt. And here's Corey Seeker to hit. A 
A sliding stop. Over to first. And he gets him. Nicely done. Singy, it was close. Looks like they want a second to review it and possibly challenge the call if they think he beat the throw. Yeah, they might challenge it just to kind of roll the dice, you know, Berg, and perhaps maybe they see something different as they get a look at some different angles. And now here is Michael Young. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. Two out, space is empty. Line drive, base hit. So next to hit for Texas, Rafael Palmero. Smoke to right center, and this one's gonna go out of here. Another homer. He's done it again. His second homer of the game. And they tack on to their lead. It's 11-0. And their fifth home run of the game. Some things in this sport are contagious, Boog. And right now for this team, clearly it's the long ball. He came out of his shoes on that one, but managed to keep his mechanics intact long enough to get to the ball and through it. And it went a long way. Now on the bump, Garrett Clevenger. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. Broken bat, and it's popped up. Diaz throws the first in time. They don't come much closer than that. Bang, bang, play to end the inning. Texas plates two on the homer. Home half of the fifth coming up. You're watching Major League. And welcome back to the ballpark. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Here's the third baseman, Isaac Paredes. And first offering is fouled off. Well, these Rays just aren't putting together very many good at-bats in this one. They're in the back half of the game, and they're still searching for a base runner. He's been great out there on the mound, no doubt. But it's also been a disappointing performance at the plate to this point. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Lau stands in now and watches strike one. Popped up. Catcher tosses the mask, settles under it, calls it in, two away. Boy, that was a hanging, breaking ball right there. I think he tried to do a little bit too much. Sometimes those eyes can get really big. I think his swing broke down as well, and that's what caused him to pop it up. Gathered in by Seeger, throw to first. Rays retired in order. Nothing. And we're back. Now, Sammy Sosa. The wind of the pitch. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Everyone's trying to elevate the ball in today's game, but if you can hit a ball that hard on the ground, it's going to find some holes. And first offering is fouled off. Sosa aboard here at first with nobody out. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Siri really on his horse for it. Long run, tracks it down. One away. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get now about batting. 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. Man at first, Pudge Rodriguez stepping in for the Rangers. One for three. That's to third, and it stays fair. Lead runner makes the turn at second. And he's got a double. Man, he just absolutely turned on that one, ripped it down the line. Nice job of staying in with mechanics. So one out with two aboard. And now the center fielder, Vladimir Guerrero. In there at the knees. The Rangers up big in this one. Here in the third and final game of the series. 
Up ball and one. in. One ball, one strike. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Caballero settles underneath it, hauls it in, and there's two away. Next up for Texas, Ian Kinsler. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. He'll touch them all. Third home run of the season, and they tack on three. It's 14-0. That was blasted. Absolutely, no doubt off the bat. A breaking ball on the inside part of the play requires a hitter to stay really square with his mechanics. If you fly open with the front shoulder, there's no way you keep that ball fair. An outstanding job. Jason Adam takes over on the mound. I think it's got to be a little tough coming in out of the pen when your guys are trailing so big on the scoreboard. Just doesn't have the same intensity to it, but he's got to find a way because these batters count the same for his stats, obviously, regardless of the score. The right hater deals. Foul ball. Already three runs across in the frame, and we're in the top half of the sixth. Sneaks through, base hit. Makes the turn and heads for second. Now the tag at second, and he's out, trying for two. The long throw, and that's the third out. Bottom of the sixth inning, and now it's Ahmed Rosario. Swing and a miss. That one at 99, and it's 0-1. Comes up empty, that's strike two. And it really looks like these hitters no have ball, been in strike. between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, ball. but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. The one-two. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. He's really good hitting the baseball the other way, so credit the pitcher yeah. for having him out in front of that pitch. Clearly, he had him fooled. Mejia batting with one down takes a strike. Swing and a miss. That one in the dirt. Rodriguez up with it to first. Gets the out. Two down after the strikeout. Two outs. Base is empty. And stepping in is the speedy Jose Caballero. Right through there for a strike. The Rays still looking for their first hit in this one. Strike two. Ahead of two in the count. Sure, you've got four pitches you can work with, but throw something you can command and get this. And a swing and a miss down on strikes. And it's a three up, three down inning. Impeccable command in that one. Three batters, three strikeouts. That's electric stuff out there on the mound. Top of inning number seven. Now here's the Rangers DH, Michael Young. The pitch. And that one in the air center field. Siri pulls it down and he makes the catch. One up, one down. The first baseman, Rafael. Rafael Palmero stepping in for the Rangers. First pitch nope. just nice. misses. Bullpen movement for the Rays. Sean Armstrong warming up for manager Kevin Cash. Kelly also getting ready. And it's fouled away. The Rangers up big in this one here at the top half of inning number seven. <laughs> 
One down, base is empty. In the air to left center. Siri sizing this one up. Makes the grab for the second out. Now that up next for the Rangers, Adrian Beltre. Hit in the air, center field. Siri in position. And that's the third out. Back here at Tropicana Field, set for the last half of the seventh. Now it's the right fielder, Josh Lowe. Late on that on fastball. One. This pitcher's done a good job of disrupting the hitter's timing with the mix of pitches and changing speeds. You want to keep that front foot inconsistent for the batter. Their swings are hesitant, and that's exactly what you want on the mound. And a one-two. In the air, right field. Sosa puts it away, and there's one down. Hitting is all about anticipation, and right now, this lineup is struggling with it. Their swings are mistimed, and it's produced a few ugly cuts here and there. Ramirez in the box again, takes a strike. There's a swing and a drive. That's back there. Up against the wall, and brings it in. Two outs, base is empty. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Yandy Diaz. Top of the zone for a strike. Going one. Foul ball there. Two down, nobody on. Eight down on strikes. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Back now in Tampa Bay. We go to the eighth. And now the right fielder, Sammy Sosa. Adam back to work. And first offering is fouled off. At the belt and fires. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. That ball was drilled 106 off the bat, and that's the kind of feedback that tells you you're right where you want to be with your swing mechanics. Sosa gets his lead at first. Nobody out. And a pitch. Got it by him for the K. Man at first, Pudge Rodriguez, the next to hit. Out there to center, Siri in position. Makes the grab, and there's two gone. Now batting, the center fielder. So next to hit for Texas, Vladimir Guerrero. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. That one back up the middle and it gets through. Lead runner touches second, headed for third. In there safely. Now it's the second baseman, Ian Kinsler. In the air, out towards right center. Low racing over to make the catch. 
And welcome back to the ballpark. Out of the bottom of the eighth, down the third baseman, Isaac Paredes. And that one fouled off. You know, he's been so great today, really just throwing whatever the catcher puts down. I mean, hasn't shaken off the catcher very much at all today. And the pitch. Big connect on the curveball struck him out. Wow, short work to send him packing to start the inning and no messing around either. All three pitches were in the strike zone, attack mode all the way, and that's pretty impressive given the pop he was dealing with at the plate. Lau stands in now and watches strike one. Looping, breaking ball, and he struck him out. Well, that's a curveball that people like to describe as a hammer or Uncle Charlie, and you can see why. It's not a looping slow curve. He throws it hard, and it gets plenty of bite on the end. Hit on a line, and that's a base hit. And that ends the perfect game bid. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. So close. There goes the no-no with two outs in the eighth. And that one is absolutely belted. And it bangs off the foul pole home run. His first homer of the year, it's 14-2. First pitch swinging, and he got the fastball. He knew exactly what to do with it, too. Well, this thing was hooking down the line the entire way. He knew it was going to be close, and bang, right off the left field pole. That was a pretty swing, and he found a way to keep his hands inside just enough to keep it fair. Beltre makes the play, and that is that. The Rays with a two-run homer. Ninth inning coming up. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. And we're back. Seager stands in down. The pitch. Deep drive down the line. Foul ball. Here comes a pinch. He swings and fouls one off. And he deals. Foul ball. It stays nothing in two. Left hand batter waits the other way and he beats the shift. So now back to the top of the order. Clearly seeing the ball very well in this one. To me it's just a really controlled balanced swing. He wasn't trying to do too much with it. Just stayed disciplined got the barrel to the ball and put it in play. And yeah, the batter now Michael Young swing and that ball smashed on a line. Caballero makes the play then there's one down man he smoked that fastball he's all over oh, it it's just ranger. frustrating when you can't get it to the fall maybe next time up he'll find a hole Palmero. next up for Texas Rafael Palmero and first offering is fouled off Seeger stands at first with one out Grounded to third, could be two. Paredes to second, but safe at first. It's a fielder's choice. Man at first, Adrian Beltre stepping in for the Rangers. Late on that fastball. Oh, if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. Out to short, Rosario got him on the off-balance throw. And that is that. So one hit is all they get. And now 
Last chance for the home team. Here's the left fielder, Jose Caballero. There's a strike. Oh, that got away from him. And he's going to reach on a hit by pitch to lead off the inning. Down in the box, he's seen that movie before. It wasn't a good movie either. He knew how it was going to end right from the beginning. So the batting order turns over. Josh Lowe next to hit for the Rays. Well, the leadoff man gets on. You want to minimize the threat. They hand the ball over to a new arm, Kirby Yates. And he's got a nice lead to work with, so he should come in throwing strikes, attacking these hitters. The pitch. That one fouled off. Well, they've kept him pretty quiet in this series. Still doesn't have a knock. I know we want to get that first knock out of the way. Maybe more will come, but you got to give some credit to the pitching staff. They've had a great plan against him. Ramirez now at the plate as he swings through strike one. Swing and a miss. And the count is 0 and 2. And a good eye there. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Next pitch is downstairs. He's really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. Left field. Vaughn brings it in. And there's two down. So it's their last chance in this one. And stepping in for the Rays, Young sends it to center, and that's going to do it. And that'll do it. Ball game. The Rangers slug their way to a win in this one. Ball well, with this sixth win in a row, all of a sudden, you start to look around, up and down the lineup, to your left, to your right as a player, and you say, you know what, we're good. Uh, we may have had some tough times earlier on, but this is a good team, and you start to expect this kind of play out of yourselves. We'll see if this translates into a longer winning streak than it is right now. 14-2 at the end of this one. And the road team picks up the win and picks up.